and welcome to another Mr. Beats Bike quick look. And this one is actually a bit different insofar as this isn't a machine I'm going to be working on, hopefully. Um, this is from Tim. Uh, hi Tim, hope all is well with you. And uh, basically, I've got this machine to try and find out if it will actually work. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's an N1700 Philips, and uh, I did take a tape over to his place when I was sort of looking at kit and whatever, and um, the tape, I think, had nothing actually recorded on it. It was uh, just full of noise. So uh, I did say, if you bring the machine over to me or if I have the machine, I can go through it, just check it, make sure it's okay. So that's what we're going to do, and hopefully it'll work. Um, now, I do have a few cassettes here. Uh, I believe that one's actually an M1500 cassette. Um, these two may be 1700, but I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll give them a go and um, just see what happens. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on. So let's power it on. Uh, so far so good and uh yeah I, I did expect it now it does have av outputs and i'll be interested to see how they're done uh because uh, i have actually bought uh, a couple of these boards that conan featured on his uh video 99 co uk channel and uh yeah, um, I'm sort of quite quite excited to try these. I've got a few N1500 1700 machines, and I'd like to put AV outputs um, as sympathetically as I can on them, and with a decent video output. So really good to use a, a relatively tried and tested solution. And uh, the balls were cheap too, so thank you very much, Colin. Uh, so, let's give this a go. So, I thought I'd try setting a clock, um, just for kicks. And it seems we're unable to do that. I don't know whether the buttons have just gone bad. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a concern, to be fair. Um, oh. Oh, it's working. Do you have to press both to do it then? No, I think the buttons are just a bit... Ah, oh, it seems to be working now. Fantastic. So, it's not that time. <laughs> it's quite a bit later than that. Okay, so let's turn it on. Um, let's try this cassette. Gosh, it's really sticky. And uh, this is a spool lock. That's quite cool. I don't think I've got any tapes with that on. Uh, so, put it in. Let's wind it on a bit, check we've got, whoops, oh, I'm not liking the sound of that. What's going on there? So the tape's there. Is it the machine? Is it the tape? We've obviously got some struggling going on there. Uh, not happy, is it?
Yeah, so we do have issues. Okay, uh, it's pretty mucky in there to be fair. So let's try the other cassette. And this also has a locking spool locker. Plastic. Oh, that seems happier. Maybe it is the cassette. Oh, it keeps wanting to stop. It sounds like there's a servo problem. Listen to the heads. Yeah, and we do have that very brief um, image is um, showing nothing. So we do have an issue. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to have to do some pretty serious work on this. Probably belts. Um, maybe a servo issue, head servo. But, uh, yeah. Um, it's a 1700. And... Uh, I'm pretty sure these two, uh, these two cassettes, 1700, that's 1500. So, yeah, but what I will do is, as and when I find out, I will label them so I know. So, uh, yeah. Let's take the top off and just see how they've done the AV out. Okay, so, relatively easy to take the top off except there are two um, lugs that you have to push back against to get the top off. This side is usually fine but this side tends to be a bit of a pain. Oh the screw's missing out of that bit. Uh, so usually that's that side is already free, this side isn't, and it, it really is tough. You have to really go for it a bit. Just sort of wiggle it about. It will come free, there we go. The sides are not that clever. could have taken the top loading system off but uh, yeah that's that's cool um so we have stuff going on ah now this has modification onto it looks like yeah number eight um toggles 1700 and um 1500 speed and it's a bit interesting how that's done but uh yeah we've got two resistors i'm gonna cover this actually in another video how to do a, an adaption it's not ideal but it can work um so yeah uh what we need to do is pull the power and then we'll just lift this board and just see how they've done the av so i wonder if this is the servo issue um the bottom one's a 62k 
and the top ones are 1.5 I think it's 1.5 meg five yeah um, so yeah I've, I've, I've cut I've cut the lead <laughs> um, and we'll see what it does with it out of circuit I, I, I don't believe that is the way you do the speed switch um, I think you only need one resistor well I mean I've, I've got this one so this one actually has the the mod and it works I think so <clears throat> we'll see obviously you have problems with head chip um, uh, thickness as well to compare to yeah have to deal with uh, so uh, yeah but the AV out that looks like the original sort of fix for getting an AV out um, I'm not sure what transistor type that is and I'm not very keen to sort of try and lift it up um, we'll see how it performs and um, modify it as necessary like I said I've got those boards as well so maybe we'll use one of those um, as a, a better um, method of doing this if this doesn't work very well but we'll see um, it's it's a bit messy how it's all done but uh, yeah I'm going to drop the board back down and now I've cut that out we'll just see how it works so let's give it another go No, it's still not happy. Yeah, so the server circuitry is not right. I can hear the, the heads just sort of grinding to a halt. So I've taken the uh, lid off, which you can do by just um, locating this in that gap and then lifting this up and putting it forward. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's all very strange. So to run it, push that over. interesting really weird so uh yeah we will look at that in a, a full length video and uh hope you enjoyed this one and uh look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now